Hey everyone, it's Michael from Notefolds, and today what I've got to show you is this great bunny rabbit uh, origami fold just in time for Easter. And what's great about this is you can fold it out of a standard piece of notebook paper without any cutting. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to start with a piece of paper that is three hole punched because these are going to end up being the eyes of the rabbit. And what we're going to do is fold it in half on the short edge, make a good crease down the center. We'll unfold, and then we're going to fold it in half the other way. So now we've got a good X there. Let's turn the paper over, and now we need to get a diagonal fold going through the center, so an X there. So the easiest way that I find to do this is just line up this fold with that fold. And make sure that you're going through the center of the paper. Try to get that as even as possible. And then we'll unfold. You can see it's going through the center of the page there. And we'll do it the other way. And again, you can use the fold from before and just line it up to make sure that you have everything nice and even. Okay. And we'll unfold again. Now let's turn it back over. And what we're going to do is we're going to push in on the long edges. So just like this, you're going to see that the paper is going to want to collapse down on those folds. And you end up getting this water bomb base. So again, I'll just unfold that so you can see again. We're going to push in on these sides so that it collapses. Now that we have our base ready, we need to start putting the rabbit together. So what we're going to do is just rotate this around and first start by making the eyes. And how we do that is we're going to take one of the flaps here. We're going to leave this one in place. We're going to fold this flap down to the center line. And you're going to see that that hole is going to end up making the eye. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, again, taking this upper flap and just folding it down to the center line, and that will make our second eye. So there's the two eyes for the rabbit. Now what we'll do is we're going to turn it over, and we're going to take this flap here, and we're just going to fold it over that straight edge. So just fold it straight down, not going down over that, but just right up to the edge of it. And we'll repeat on the other side. We're starting to form the ears with this movement. So now we're going to take this diagonal edge and fold it to the center line. And what we're going to do now is turn it over. You can see the ear is kind of off center. So what you'll do is just grab this pointy edge here and you're just going to gently pull it out. And you're going to see that the paper it's going to want to come out of there. And you just pull it out until it comes all the way out and then we'll just flatten it straight down. And we're going to repeat that on the other side, so don't worry, we'll show it again. So let's turn it back over. And again, we're going to take this edge and fold it over to the center line. Just like that. Okay, and turn over. And again, we're going to take this point and just pull it out. You can see it's starting to pull out from underneath the rabbit. Just keep pulling that until it's all the way out. And then when you have it in a good spot, you can kind of play with the thickness of the ear. You're just going to flatten that down. So there we have both ears. And what I like to do is just kind of fold one ear down like you might see uh, a rabbit with. And the last thing that we need to do for this rabbit is make the teeth. So we're going to take the point down here below the eyes and we'll just fold it up to meet the lower part of the face, just like that. So I'll bring it a little bit closer so that you can see the teeth are actually made of these two triangular pieces on the back. Anyway, there's our completed rabbit and I hope you have fun making this and I'd love to see any variations that you come up with. 